Wow, there sure wasn't much oil in it. Oh, there we go. In this episode, Sean will finish the 1000 hour service with the pump drive oil, greasing the machine, and putting back the panels. If you're only interested in specific maintenance items, we've created a shorter and more to the point versions of each task, which we'll link in the description. Welcome to Service Call, a mechanics guide to service, troubleshooting, and repair. I don't know if you can see it, but down in behind this tube here, back towards the engine, there's a plug. That's the drain for the pump drive. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this little jar in there to catch the oil. It's about a half a liter, so I think we should be good. This is where the level plug is located. And if you're wondering what the correct size is, Sean will now explain. And I have fashioned up this long extension to reach all the way in there. And then what we're going to use is a uh, 19 millimeter or three quarter inch uh, socket would work. In situations like this, it's always handy to have an assorted size of drain pans to avoid making a mess. So I popped out the level plug and now we're gonna pop out the drain plug on the bottom. Here we go. So for this, we're just, I'm just using a half inch drive ratchet. The square end fits inside the drain. And then the drain plug. So, get that underneath it. All right, there we go. Wow, there sure wasn't much oil in it. Oil in there, but not very much. So, now that it's drained, I'll wipe it up and uh, we'll refill it. If it's hard for you to reach, there is one way to gain better access. You can remove the belly pan, um, but really it's, it's about a half a liter of oil that should be in it, not what was actually in it. So your choice. I just put a catch pan in there and reach in there. So I'm gonna have to put some pipe tape on this uh, plug. So I'm gonna go get some pipe tape. So I've taped up the plug. Let's put some pipe tape on it. I prefer tape over the paste in some situations and this one in particular, I prefer it. For a video on how to properly install tape, click the link in the top right or in the description below. So I got that tight. Now what I'm going to do, so I'm going to rig up a nice long extension so I can get at another plug back here. And that's where I'm going to fill it from. And then when it's leaking out this hole here, I know it's full. So I'm just using the square end of an extension to go inside the, the plug and then using my half inch flex bar to break it loose. Oh. Oh. That was tight. And there's our plug. Now I'll go get the oil. Right down here just to catch any dribbles. I'm just using a pail pump and I am slowly pumping oil in until it leaks out that level hole. We're only putting in approximately a half a liter so this won't take very long to fill. Oh, there we go. Then I'm going to reinstall the fill plug. It does not need to be singing tight, it just needs to be snug. I'm gonna clean our level plug and then I'll install that. Again, it doesn't need to be super tight, just good and snug. I'm just gonna clean off a little bit of our dribblings, some brake clean. And there you have it, pump drive is full. And that's how we change the pump drive oil on a Komatsu PC200LC-6. 
Oh, it's a dash eight. I'll do that again. PC 200 LC dash eight. The only thing that are left to do is to check the track tension, reinstall all the belly pans, close up the panels, and grease the entire machine. If you'd like to see how we adjust track tension, we'll include a link in the description below. In addition, we'll also have a video link for greasing machines. But here is a brief list of what you should be looking out for. When we're greasing the machine, there's multiple points that are going to need grease. Typically where you're gonna find them is at the two bucket pins. There may be multiple points there. Typically there's two on the bottom side of the H link, which is the link that goes to the front side of the bucket. There's going to be two or more at the, depending on whether or not you have a thumb, is kind of where the gray area is. In this situation, we have a thumb. So there's going to be two grease points on the end of the arm, and there's going to be two grease points on either the coupler or the thumb uh, for the main bucket pin. You're going to find that there's a grease point on either end of the bucket cylinder. If you have a direct link bucket, or sorry, a thumb cylinder, you'll have a grease point on either end. You'll have that also on a progressive link thumb, but a progressive link thumb has extra linkage. So on that extra linkage, there will be extra grease points as well. You'll have grease points on either end of the bucket cylinder. You'll have grease points uh, at the connector for the uh, arm to boom. There will be grease points for the arm cylinder on either end. There will be on the both of the boom cylinders will have two grease points and there will be grease points on either side of the uh, boom foot pin. Other places where there's going to be grease points would be uh, for the Rotec bearing. And there's also a grease fitting for the track adjusters, but that's just for if the track tension is incorrect. There's really no other reason to grease it. So for a complete list of grease points, check your operator's manual. So depending on what attachments you have on the machine, you may find that there are other grease points as well. 